hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is govan aga i make videos about living and schooling in switzerland so today i'm bringing to you a video on how to apply for a master's degree in switzerland and i would show you exactly how to do it so if you want to know how to apply for a master's degree in switzerland keep on watching this video so for this video i'm going to use um the university of Bern. we're going to go to their website and um, I would apply on there. You can you can apply to the investor of your choice, but this is just an example of how to navigate the website. So the first thing you need to do: take your phone or your laptop. Obviously, have an internet connection, and you type University of Bern, and you go to University of Bern, and they have their website here. Click on that. You scroll here, um, a bunch of things here, but click on student. Um, and then you see also a bunch of other things here. You click on master's degree program because that is what we want to find. Here there are, there's the overview of study programs for downloads, which of course you can download to get more information. You can search for your courses here. You can, as you can see, the monostroke major study program from A to Z by faculty or the minor program. So I'm going to go by faculty because I think um, that is way easier. So you can see it divided here. And today I'm going to check out the, let's say want to apply for the political, legal and economic philosophy. Um, and under here, we see, we look for the basic information. We see that it's a degree of master of art in political, legal and um, economic philosophy. The number of credits here is 120 ECTS and the duration of the course is for four semesters. And the course is taken fully in English. And you can also apply in the spring or fall semester. Here are also, um, Here's also the more information on the course. I think it's in German. So, okay, this one is in English. The last one is in English. So you can download them. If it's in German, obviously translate it using Google Translate and you have your information that you want. So here we have just the details of the program telling you what the program entails. The semester fee for the program is... 805 francs per semester for Swiss students and for international students you have to pay 1005 francs per semester and more information so the next thing we're going to do is to click the scheme of program here you see that you have to do your coursework and at the end of your your coursework you write a master's thesis scroll down for more information the deadline here you can find the deadlines um, here as well. The requirements are also here. So for this requirement, we see that um, um, you should have a bachelor's in applying for this degree, you should have a bachelor's degree from a recognized university with a 90 ECTS credit in the branch of studies. Um, just a moment. 90 ECTS credits in the branch of studies, philosophy or political science um, or business administration or law or um, the, the three of them. So what this means is that um, to get into this course, if you do not have up to 90 ECTS in the, in the courses that are mentioned here, <clears throat> then you have to take um, some introductory courses. They would accept you, but you have to sign that you have to take some introductory courses. So these are the introductory courses that are listed here. And if you check very well, it says that some of the introductory courses are taken in German, which of course um, is not a big issue. If you want more information, you can always email the school for more information. And then the English language skills here, as you can see, you have to write a TOEFL exam or IETLs or the Cambridge first certificate in English, you must have that. But there's also a caveat or, or an exemption to this. Um, that is if you have studied in English previously or if your mother tongue is in English, you do not have to write these exams. 
the German language skills, um, then the admission application and admission for this course. So as you can see, there's application and admission with a Swiss degree or with an international degree. And we do um, by applying as an international student. Um, so it's the same thing. It just basically tells you here the language requirements that is needed. And then here you have you see the application deadline and online application. So if you scroll down, you see the checklist of required documents of important information for your application. The minimum requirements concerning certification and translation. That is, if your degree is not in English, and then from application to registration, it tells you the duration of time that is slotted and if you get in when you hope to receive your acceptance letter. So you don't have to wait um, forever. So let's go to the checklist. Um, so as you can see, in applying for this degree, application with an international degree, what you need to do first of all is the application, which is an online application, your required documents, and then you select for the application deadline. The second important thing you need to do is to so here they list out, you may apply for admission to one major or mono study program. These are not important to so go through it. Then supporting documents to your application. All documents must be sent by later post in one file. We do not receive any electronic documents. Missing documents will be requested. They delay the application process. Your, eligibi your eligibility for admission will only be re reviewed after receipt of all the required documents, the application fee, and if need be, additional fee for late application. And here it goes on to talk about the deadline. If you apply after the regular application deadline, the supporting documents to your application must arrive by 31st August and 31st January, respectively. And then obviously the language requirements, we have gone through it. So here is a list of countries that are exempted from the English test. Um, Nigeria is not here. Anyways, here are the list of countries that are exempted from the from the English test. But as a Nigerian, you can you can send them an email, you know, because we do speak English in Nigeria. So I don't know why that is like that. So the studying is full time. We do not offer any part time studies and then steps and the relevant um, conditions relevant to entering and residing in Switzerland. Um, in application, you also have to submit the declaration of concept form. It goes on to tell you about that. You also have to complete this document. This is this is the declaration form. You have to sign your mom, your dad, your matriculation number is there. So here is actually everything you need to do. You need to submit. The first thing you need to submit is the declaration consent, this checklist, your curriculum vitae, and it goes on to list how it should be, your application stroke motivation letter. It also goes on to tell you the information that is needed therein, originally certified photocopies of your degree, if this degree is not written in German, English, French, or Italian, in translation and the original certificate, certified photocopy of the degree is required. The next thing are the originals. They must be stamped and signed or originally certified photocopies of all official proofs of your achievements with grades. This is just your transcript. And then also goes on to tell you to translate it if, it if it is not in any of these four languages. And it informs you here, as you can see in point number seven, that the grading system of the degree issue university, if the grading system is different from ours, our scale goes from one to six, with six being excellent and grades below four being unsatisfactory. So the, num the last, is it the last? No. The next thing you see here is a description of the content shock learning objectives of the different courses, shock lectures, catalogs, or models. You can write or translate the trans descriptions of the courses yourself if no version is available in English. Um, so the next thing is about the language skills. 
and number 10 photocopies of your valid passport or official identity card um, number 11 photocopy of your residence permit number 12 if you live outside of switzerland you have to pay an application fee of 105 francs and an additional administration fee of 100 francs it goes on to show you the account number that needs to pay for and then if you live in switzerland you don't need to pay these fees so that is um it's for your necessary documents we are we had earlier looked at the checklist and now we're going to go to the online application click on the online application and it takes you to this create a new application by entering a password of your choice or continue with your application by using your application identity identification number and your password so here what you're going to do is to select a semester and spring semester selected here your password and confirm password so after that it would um, give you an identification number and it is safe so that you can um, access your data at a later stage so you click on continue and the next thing you see is bachelor's program master's program click on master's program because that is what we want the next thing you see is the qualification for admission there are two boxes here you are holding a bachelor degree or a diploma considered as equivalent or you have already been registered at the university of Bern. so <clears throat> i have already been registered at the university of Bern. so i'm going to click on what let me just click on this you are holding a bachelor's degree or considered as equivalent i'm going to do that <clears throat> and the next thing is to choose the subject that you want remember we're doing the masters of arts in philosophy in political legal and economic whatever and combination of subjects here you click on it again and it shows you the ECT here so you save and continue I think what I need to do is to cause I think you can see my screen better this way um, so it shows you the subject the combination of, of subject mandatory subject if you have already studied the chosen subject and would like to continue in an advanced semester please enter it here um, save and continue okay please enter your educational qualification that, that qualify you to apply for admission to a degree program so um non-swiss qualification is what we're going to choose date of issue i'm just going to choose 20 um let's say 2020 and then certificate non-swiss non-swiss bachelor degree upper secondary school i don't know what this is anyways from pottery so i'm just going to choose this country of issue of the certificate um just look for your country The country where you were registered at the time you were awarded your your certificate nigeria so save and continue your previous studies please indicate all your university studies even if you did not complete them 
So add a degree program. Type of certificate, um, bachelor degree, start of your study. If we finish in 2020, that means we started in sorry, 2016. 2016 because it's four years. And then end of your study, 2020. And the name of the university. Um, you just choose order. S subject studied, let's say business administration. Um, number of semesters, six degree title, successfully completed. The country where you already saw at the time you were awarded this degree. I don't know why this is important. It has come up like this is a third time. Done, save and continue. 